Hello, friends, and welcome to yet another Mego Museum Mint Off Card this week. This is what I'm going to call Wave 7 Week, and I'm going to try to get as many of these out as possible because we have been given an advanced shipment of the 8-inch line from Mego, and I really want to share it with you guys and let you know what you're in for. So today I chose my personal favorite of the monster line, and that is the Phantom of the Opera. The Phantom of the Opera got passed over by both Mego and Azrak Hamway International in the 1970s, but fortunately for me, I was a Lincoln International kid and did actually have a Phantom action figure, and he was one of my favorites. Still is. So I always look forward to a new Phantom action figure when they come out. So let's get the breakdown of this guy. This is an officially licensed Lon Chaney Phantom of the Opera. The Cheney family actually owns the makeup design and the look of this character, which is wonderful for them. Because of that, we are treated to some official Cheney photography on that front of that card. And I really like the way the deep blacks and the reds work together to make a really striking bang Phantom of the Opera card. That is fantastic. Back of the card lists Dr. Migo as the consultant and Andrew Kovalt as the sculptor of the Phantom. A lot of folks have asked prior to this, how is this different from the MC uh, Phantom of the Opera released about uh, eight years back? Well, the answer is quite different, and we're going to let you see for yourself when we take them off the card and do a side-by-side -side comparison. Hang on. Well, folks, this is Eric. What do you think of him? As you can see in the side-by-side -side comparison with the MC Phantom that was released through Diamond Select Toys, they were going for more of like a sideshow aesthetic and really trying to push the boundaries of how Mego could be super hyper-detailed. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore this figure. The new Mego Phantom has more of a Mego vibe, if, if that makes sense. And I hope it does if you're watching this. Where, you know, like the outfit itself, it kind of reminds me of the Joker where there's some screen printing involved. Even though there's nice little details like the buttons. Uh, it just has more of a warm toy vibe to it. And as, as you may know, I'm a bit of a fan of that. I have room in my heart for both of these. I think they're both fantastic. And uh, I absolutely am glad I have this. I've, I've already ordered one, pre-ordered one, but I'm glad that Migo sent me one because I can keep one on the card now. This is a really great looking toy. I particularly like the material used on the overcoat for this one for some reason. It just has this nice feel to it. I'm also fond of the use of color on this one. Uh, I love the vest being kind of like a burgundy. And the paint apps on the head, which are less ghoulish and just more you know, pale human being. I, I think that's really fantastic. And it, it kind of reminds me of a famous Monsters cover I had as a kid. Where to buy these? Um, we recommend at the Mega Museum Entertainment Earth, and I'll put a link below. However, there's lots of reputable dealers uh, available through the Mega Museum forums. Or if you're on Facebook and are a member of either Mego Mania or Mego Ambassadors, ask around for a reputable dealer. You know, know, their, know your dealer, as they say. What are your thoughts on the Wave 7 Phantom of the Opera? Is he a must-have, or are you interested in other monsters? Let me know in the comments here or in our Facebook group, Migomania. Also, be sure to check out the modern Migo wing of the Migo Museum. It's a growing database we're collecting that includes all the Mint Off Car videos. It will help you make sense of all the waves, I promise you. 
Just want to give a special shout out to Migo Corporation for allowing me to do this and providing these samples. If you want to get in touch with Migo Corp, the best way to do that is to join their Facebook group, Migo Ambassadors, and have your say. You will be heard. I promise you that. Thanks again for watching. I will be back this week with more Wave 7. Until then, buy what you like. Take care.